Hey everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios, and I'm back with another quick tip for all you artists out there. So this is actually one of the first videos I'm filming during my hiatus period, but it won't make much of a difference to you. So as you can see, I've got a lot of projects out here in front of me, uh, a lot of different things I'm working on. One thing that I'm working on is a drawing of uh, both uh, mine and my parents' house here. And uh, it's almost done. It's, uh, you know, it's getting there. And uh, one part of my finishing touches for this is uh, basically highlighting some areas. Most of this is done in ink, but highlighting some areas with a, uh, a, a pencil of white charcoal. Now, I'm not entirely sure what white charcoal actually is. I'm pretty sure it's not actually charcoal. It's more of a modified, hard, sort of chalky pastel. But it is a fairly interesting tool. And as I'm working on this, I noticed that I'm not just drawing and holding my pencil normally, I'm using what is known as the layout method. Now the layout method, uh, in terms of being difference, well normally it's uh, pointer finger, middle finger, and thumb for the tripod method. This is the most uh, common method uh, just for holding a pencil and working. But then there's the layout method where you're uh, basically holding the pencil between your thumb and all four of your fingers and then letting the back of the pencil rest on the palm of your hand. Now this is really good in large scale for doing things like figure drawing and gestures and everything like that. But you might think, okay, that's good for practice, but what are the practical uses for the layout method? I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing with that method right here. So looking at this a little closer, you can see how, how I have basically sections of white, particularly in the foliage, but there's some sections with the faces of the house here. Um, and in doing this, uh, it, well, it kind of works to hold the pencil normally, you know, basic... Um, method of, of just holding your pencil, whether it be this, or this, or this, or whatever you happen to do. Uh, but that's a little too stiff, and you often can't see what you're working on, so using the layout method, I'm able to hold it much looser, as well as get sort of little ticks in where the foliage is. So for this, I'm just kind of tapping, either, for, or either pushing up with it or pulling back, depending on what I feel I need. This way I can keep a very light touch with the pencil and maintain a great amount of control and still have uh, my strokes and my marks be just a little bit different and a little more free. So that's just a quick, simple, and easy way to sort of apply the layout method of drawing into a bigger and often more complex project. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tip, and for more like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This is Ben from DMC Films and Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.